These are the reasons why I use software and why I think you should too for your dropshipping business. There are many reasons why you should invest in software. However, in the beginning, when you are first starting out, it may not seem that it's something that important as you're learning the ropes on how to dropship and navigate through that journey yourself. In the beginning, you're probably gonna be listing about a handful of products that you can probably easily manage using Excel Google Sheets, or any sort of manual process that you have set up to keep track of your inventory, of your prices, of your product URLs. It's something that's manageable in the beginning. However, as you start to get traction, as you start to want to scale up and add a lot more products, doing all of these functions in Excel Sheets, in Google Sheets, can be complicated. It can be a little bit disorganized and at some point you can start losing track of critical data that otherwise wouldn't happen if you're actually using software. So here are my recommendations as an experienced dropshipper on things that I look out for when I'm trying to vet potential software companies that I will bring in for my dropshipping business. For one, you have to make sure that whatever the advertising or marketing that they do, you wanna make sure that in fact it works and it has to be efficient. Now for us dropshipper, you know, the fact that we need to be able to get access into other platforms, other suppliers, websites to make sure whether those products are in stock and not only that, but also make sure that the, the price changes that happen on their websites does not impact our own dropshipping business in a negative way. We need to make sure that these functions work and they're very critical. So you have to ask questions, you know, reach out to the software provider, make sure that you do your due diligence and and ask, e explore, you know, how does this feature work? You know, what are things that can happen that perhaps might uh, hinder my dropshipping business because of some bugs or something that's happening with your software? You know, how do I get access to you? And definitely having a good support uh, ticketing system, whether it's by email or by chat or by phone is very critical as a dropshipper to have access to it because if you have to report these bugs, you wanna make sure that they are, um, one, um, taking note of them, and two, they're providing you with an estimated turnaround time on when they can be fixed. So these are challenges that I have faced in the past with some other um, software companies. So you wanna make sure that all those things I just outlined are available to you before you make a decision. And like I said, repricing, stock inventory, um, those two are critical. Those need to work right. Not, they, they cannot be any flaws or any mistakes um, on those two features. And then everything else that comes um, along with the software is pretty much an additional plus that is gonna help your business in the, in the short term and in the long term. But again, do your due diligence and make sure you ask questions and don't be afraid to reach out to these companies and get your questions answered. So now that I'm a few weeks in into my own Facebook Marketplace dropshipping journey, I have been contemplating about what am I going to do in order for me to provide a solution for my dropshipping business when it comes to software. And obviously because Facebook Marketplace is still fairly new, uh, it's really only been around over the last year, ever since the shipping option has become available. Now we're seeing um, companies coming to the market offering solutions for your dropshipping business on Facebook. So um, I have come across a company and I've been using the product. I am a paid customer. I have a paid subscription to the software. And so far I've really liked uh, how robust um, the software is. Um, they're constantly making improvements. As a matter of fact, I think every week they're dropping a new video about a new feature or a new update that they are um, putting into effect for their software. And these are all great signs that this company is doing their due diligence. They are listening to their customers and they are coming up with updates that are being published publicly so everyone has access to them. So all these things are great and that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and use them for my own business. And in this video, I do wanna talk about a little bit more about this particular company and then the reasons why I, I chose them and the reason why I think you should probably look into them and give them a consideration to bring them 
as a possible software solution into your toolbox for your own Facebook Marketplace dropshipping business. Okay, so by now you might be asking yourself, okay, Daniel, so what is a software? What are you using? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll start sharing my screen and kind of just give you an overview. I'm not gonna go really deep into the software. I think I'm gonna create a future video um, with how I'm using the software, give you my own take on how it's helping me and how it might be able to help you in your dropshipping business. But for today, I just wanted to give you an overview, uh, let you know what softwares I'm using for my own Facebook dropshipping business, why I like them, and why I think perhaps you should look into them and some of the great features that they have available right now for all of us dropshippers. Okay, so let me go into my computer right now. So I am sharing my screen and I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with FBM Fox and I happened to come across them on YouTube when I started my dropshipping journey. And to be honest, I am really um, surprised with how good the software is. Now I know we are, there are some competitors out there that are also using uh, their softwares to bring solutions for Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. However, what I love about FBM Fox is that their entire focus is on Facebook. So they're working on developing solutions for dropshippers on Facebook. Now the competitors are also working on Facebook, but they also are working on other marketplaces that they offer their dropshipping software for. So for me, I kind of lean more towards the one who's actually focused on what I'm working on, which to me, that just makes me feel a lot more comfortable because any issues that arise, I know that their development team is only focused on Facebook, right? They don't have to worry about that. Oh, I need to build a patch or a solution for eBay. Or no, I have to, you know, fix something for Amazon because it went down for our customers who, you know, drop ship on Amazon. I don't have to worry about that. I know that FBM Fox is focused on Facebook and for me, that's a big plus and one of the main reasons why I'm um, using their software and so far uh, it's been great. I also wanted to take just a few minutes here and show you their um, YouTube account. Here you're going to find a lot of great video resources of them showing you how to use a lot of their features. Um, they're very helpful, they're very easy to follow. I myself come to this um, website, I mean, I'm, I myself come to YouTube, to their channel often to look for what new updates, what new features they are releasing so that I myself can get educated and know how everything works. So again, they streamline it. Um, you'll find everything here from, you know, how to, you know, upload your listings, um, how to reprice them. Um, how to do um, competitive product research. Uh, they're also going to show you all the different marketplace suppliers that they support on their software. So all in all, um, very robust. A lot of information here is very helpful and it's helped me to um, onboard um, the software um, pretty easily. So if you're a beginner and you're looking for you know that software solution i would recommend you look into fbn fox they offer a free plan so there's really nothing to lose um, you can try it out see if you like it see if it works for you i'm very confident that you're gonna like it and it's really gonna help you and then once you're ready to take that next step and actually get into a pay subscription uh, they offer a variety of plans. They have very affordable plans starting at $29, which is a plan that I'm currently on right now. And that one allows for up to 200 product listings that will get repriced and monitored for you on FPN Fox. Plus, it gives you access to the Chrome extension that allows you to do product research. It allows you to list the products directly to um, Facebook Marketplace, which is great because one of the things that takes up a lot of time for us dropshippers is product research and is listing products. So unless you have a VA that will do this for you, the next best thing, or at least the thing that I will prefer is for a, a software to do it for you. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot cheaper. 
uh, to pay software than it is going to be to pay for an hourly uh, salary for, for a virtual assistant, in, in my personal experience. I will be linking an affiliate link to FBM Fox if you decide to go ahead and become a pay subscriber. You can choose to use it, it's up to you. Um, if you do, thank you very much because that's really a way for you to support my channel and all the content I make around Facebook Marketplace. So like I said, the link will be provided. Um, if you don't go via the link, that's okay too. Um, however, just mention that how you came across FBM Fox was through, you know, watching my content, you know, Daniel Sauce Online, so that they know that at least, you know, you were referred, you know, by my channel. Guys, okay, so before I leave, I have been asked many times if what I have behind me are Pokemon cards. And they are. I do have um, Pokemon cards. Um, as a kid, I used to um, collect these, but now there's such a craze. Like, it's it's come back. Like, the trend of Pokemon has come back again. And now I'm looking at it from a business perspective and also from a collector. So these boxes that came out not too long ago, um, this is the 25th anniversary box. And I bought them with the intention of reselling them now that the holiday season is near us. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I resell these or should I hold on to them? You know, l let me know. And I have two boxes of them. So if any of you guys are into Pokemon cards, collecting them or even investing in them as a potential long term investment, let me know in the comment section down below. So I just wanted to show you guys because I've been I've been getting asked a ton about the Pokemon cards. And yeah. Uh, they're Pokemon cards. All right, guys. <laughs> Bye. See you guys next week.